hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jojo and thank you so much for being here so i hope everyone is keeping safe you're staying at home if you can and also taking the necessary precautions so with all this time that i have on my hands i thought this would be the perfect time to organize my closets and uh, i'll take you guys along as i do that and share some of the tips that have been helping me along as i organize my closet so i hope you enjoy these kind of videos because i do enjoy people watching people clean and organize their space and um i thought maybe we could do this together i hope you will be inspired to tackle that space that you've been procrastinating for some time and uh, maybe you can get to clean and organize the space so, let's get started the first tip that i'll be sharing with you is make sure you're in the right mental state before tackling your closet because this is not a process that you can rush through you need enough time to clean organize and arrange everything in your closet so make sure you do have enough time and uh, i have prepared my cup of coffee because i know i'll be here for quite some time and um, i don't need to rush through the second tip will be remove everything from your closet since you need to be working with a clean slate and um, you get to know everything that you have and everything that you're working with so we're going to remove everything from the closet and from there we can now start organizing cleared everything from the closet and uh, I have piled everything on the bed so the next step will be to divide the piles so I'm going to divide the piles into two so the first pile will be stuff that I'm keeping and the second stuff pile will be stuff that I'm donating since I don't have everything is in good condition so there's nothing that I can throw away so this is what I'll be working with so now it's time to divide the clothes into two piles so the next tip that i'll be sharing with you is uh, from marie kondo's method so if you've not heard of marie kondo make sure you go google her she is the queen of decluttering and organization she has even a book on how you're supposed to organize she has a method how you're supposed to organize everything in your home and uh, according to her method she says that you have to look through all the items that you want to organize and hold each and every piece of clothing on your hands so you look at it and you ask yourself does this piece of clothing spark joy so for me the fact that this thing is gold and uh, it has gold detail for sure for sure it does sparkle joy so you have to do this to all the items that you that you you're, you're organizing so items that spark joy you get to keep them and items that do not spark joy they get to go into the donation pile so that is what you're going to be doing next top with um, silver rings on top so I'm thinking this item definitely does not spark joy but I'll take it and um, 
I'll remove this. I'm sure I'll use it in some DIY. So definitely, this is going into the DIY pile. So this is the pile that I get to donate all this and then I need to do another DIY thing to hang these hearts because the one I did was small so these are the t-shirts that I need to fold and um, this is the pile that I get to hang so let's get to folding. needs to be folded that's my t-shirt my shorts and my jeans and uh, the next thing now will be to hang everything in the closet for this side of the closet since it's the one that is longer so what I'll do is I'll hang my coats my dresses this side and then at the bottom I'm going to place my shorts t-shirts and jeans and then this other one since it's smaller. I'm going to hang my jackets and my tops on this side. to do is um, hang them according to colors start with dark colors going to the bright colors but now the issue was some of them were too long and I didn't want anything hanging and touching the shorts so that I could be able to see everything at a go so yeah so that's why their colors are not coordinated and I need to get matching hangers I need to do all black so this is the first part of the wardrobe and uh, now we go to the next one So I'm 
I'm done with the top part so the next part will be organizing the shelf there so for that shelf I'm thinking I'll put my natural hair products since they're quite a number and in the meantime I'm going to place my hat at the bottom there before I DIY <laughs> The second closet is done and uh, I did hang my tops and my coats here at the bottom I did put my hats but this is uh, temporary until I do the DIY stuff and um, I'm still trying to find a place where to put this thing because it's it is not working here but anyway for the time being that's where it will be so down here are my natural hair products and then this box i put my some of my jewelry the small ones yes and uh, that's that so in this drawer i do have my innerwear and my socks and um that's pretty much it and finally we are done it's been a couple of hours later but i'm so glad that I've been able to tackle my closet. Being indoors has given me the time to do it. And I hope you got a few tips and tricks in this video. But I'm pretty sure you've been organizing your whole life. So you've got your system in place. But I hope this video did motivate you to tackle that space that you've been postponing for a while. So this would be the right time to get to cleaning and organizing your space. Thank you for watching this video up to this far. Stay safe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. So, so the first tip that like that. So with all this time that I have on my hands, uh, my closet, and also share some of the tips. Share. <laughs> Top. Headroom. Where am I in? I should be having. When I'm supposed to kneel. So I think that's when it's fine.